I still have conditionals and spacing open. There's always going to be more to learn about every topic we talk about, but as we're working through the basics, we're covering what we need to in order to be able to keep going. And we have, we have a little bit more to unpack for, for both of these. And we're going to, we're going to start with spacing here. Why does Python do it this way? That's the question that I want to answer here because I don't mind it at all. In fact, it's a wonderful thing for, uh, for teaching beginners. What frustrates me is I was a little bit hard on it in the, in the last lecture is this, when I have spaces and tabs commingled, there are times when I know perfectly well that that is the error, but I cannot fix it because the, the code editor won't let me or Python has found one spot, you know, maybe in one function and then at one spot in another and, and it can't reconcile them. And, and it, I just, I spend 20 minutes on this type of thing, which I, I get really frustrated by, right? That's not where we are at. That's not why Python is doing this to be ridiculously difficult. Okay, let me give you an example uh, using French. And my French is not very good, so please forgive me. This is probably not a great idea. But let's say you're in Paris and you want to say to somebody, my name is. Okay, and you don't know French very well. You're doing your best. You're trying to speak the local language. And you've got, uh, you've got your lexicon or your dictionary out and you're rummaging through looking for, for the, the right vocabulary words. And what you, what you manage to put together is this. You put together mon nom a. Okay? And the brutal, literal English translation, just harshly done, is my name is. Okay? Right, success. You have achieved your goal. You have managed to tell a French person exactly what you wanted to, even though your native uh, language is English. The problem with this is that that is not how French people speak. In most European languages, my, when you say my name is, it's actually a reflexive verb. You actually say, I call myself. So the correct French way to say this is je m'appelle, which the brutal, harsh, literal translation is I call myself. Okay? So let's break these two down. You, right? Learning French, doing your best, right? English is your native language. You're thinking this is awesome. What the French person actually heard was, huh? Uh... I guess so, <laughs> right? They can probably figure out what you meant, but people don't speak like this. So you're, you're trying, and I appreciate it, but this is not right, okay? You say this instead, and in your head, you're like, that makes no sense, right? Why would I ever say I call myself? But what the French person heard was, yeah, that's good. Well done, <laughs> okay? Right, the, this, the example here is precisely what's going on with our spacing. And it's not 100%, it's not but let me, let me illustrate a little bit more. I've, I've taught hundreds of, of students in-person boot camps. They're easier examples because when they have an issue, they raise their hand and, Rob, I can't fix this. I come over and I sit down. And typically when I don't teach Python first, I would teach either JavaScript or I would teach C Sharp. And so we'll do JavaScript, and hopefully you'll be encouraged because uh, the syntax is the same. We got name equals Rob, and then right below it, name equals Rob, right? So, so far, this is exactly like Python, but then we get into brackets. So instead of a colon, and don't worry about this, I'm not teaching you JavaScript, but they have something that looks like this, and the bracket is hanging out over there, and maybe this one is indented over there for some reason, and inside here, they have a do something like this. Uh, I'll, I'll, well, let's do print, even though that wouldn't be valid JavaScript. They'll have print name there, they'll have a print name there, and then they'll have one over here. But this one will be broken up to where it's like this. And then down below here, they'll have their else. And then their bracket will be here. And then the code for it will be in here where they'll have another print name. And I'm looking at this thinking, what on earth have you done? Uh, this is totally illegible. Like, I, I can't... I can't hardly read this. I mean, I, I guess, you know, back up to here, I guess I can understand what you're doing, but this is not how programmers program. The very first thing I would do, right, before I would be any help at all is this. I would do this. I would move this over. I would bring this back. I would get that back up there. I would pull this back. I would pull this back, move this uh, down, and put this there. Okay. Whoa. <laughs> so much better. Now I can read it, right? Again, this is JavaScript. This is not Python. But in JavaScript, you can get away with that. The compiler, or the interpreter rather, won't stop you. In fact, in JavaScript, you can actually do this. You could put that there, and that, that there, and that there. 
you can put it on one line. In fact, that's how most websites work because you want them to be as absolutely fast as possible. Okay. I'm going to turn, I'm going to minimize it as much as I can here. Okay. That one ridiculous line right there to JavaScript is the same as this, right? What we just had. Okay. The problem isn't JavaScript. The problem is me. It's not the same to me, right? As a new developer, you need to be able to read your code and it's going to make your life so much better down the road. Being able to troubleshoot and be able to bug, you know, look, trace, chase down bugs. Like, why is this behaving this way? The, the code looking good doesn't matter to Python. It does because the interpreter requires it. Python could work just like JavaScript where it doesn't care, but Python is forcing you to care so that your life is better when you're troubleshooting, okay? So the goal here is to learn to speak Python the right way, right? Learn to speak French the way a French person does instead of learning to speak French the way an English person does. That is what the spacing thing is here for so that your life as a programmer starts off on the right foot and you space things out appropriately.